Hi, and welcome to On Track. I'm your host, James Arnold, and tonight we have Dave Glynn and Rich Van Ham. Now, to start off, I'd just like to ask you, like, um, where are you originally from? I'm from Aurora, Illinois. I grew up on the west side of Aurora and uh, very familiar with Wabansi Community College. Awesome. And I am originally from the south side of Chicago, but I've lived in the Aurora area for 20 years. Cool. So. All right, so obviously you two, how long have you been playing together? 16 oh, years. Yeah. 16 Probably years. A little better, yeah. Good length of time. Dave, how did you get your start in music? Well, when I was a kid, you know, I uh, watched a lot of Elvis mo movies, uh, you know, so I, you know, wanted to emulate Al Elvis, and then the Beatles came along, and I wanted to emulate the Beatles, and... My brother and sister play guitar, so I, there was always one around the house. So my sister taught me a few chords, and then and I was about uh, 12, 11, 12 at the time, and then All I right. never put the guitar down since. Awesome. And how did you get your start? I was listening to a lot of different music on the radio, and uh, just I really love the blues sound, and I picked up a harmonica one day, uh, a friend of mine suggested, and I just bought one, and I started goofing around with it in high school. But I was real involved with sports at the time, so I didn't spend a lot of time with it. Okay, yeah. And just kind of dabbled with it a little bit, a little bit, and then as years went on, I just got more interested in it. All right, for our first song tonight, it's going to be Calling Me Down. I spent time and it spent me. Looking down that road to misery That I made up for what I lacked Even if I was from the wrong side of the tracks Find a cold from my dead black heart Searching for soul in the deepest dark Till I came through that black smoke stack Even if I was from the wrong side of the tracks Well, I tried and failed and I tried again But I just couldn't get that rhythm on again A song in holes, it was missing strings The notes had left me standing in the way Digging for gold with my empty mind Searching for a soul with my eyes of blind Still thinking I could make up for what I lack Even if I was from the wrong side of the tracks you're calling me, calling me down You're calling me, calling me down You're calling me, calling me down To the ground Well, I rolled it over and over again Couldn't sort the beginning from the end Past is past and the future ahead And day to day was a mantra to be said Carried away by an endless dream Stars so many I could almost dream Current so strong I can't lift my head Freedom in the face to take me where I'm led You're calling me, calling me down You're calling me, calling me down Oh, you're calling me, calling me
Well, I spent time and it spent me looking down that road to misery. Well, I made up for what I lacked, even if I was from the wrong side of the track. Carried away by an endless stream, stars so many I could almost dream. Current so strong I can't lift my head. Freedom in the fade to take me where I'm there. You're calling me, calling me down. You're calling me, calling me down. You're calling me, calling me down. To the ground. To the ground. To the ground. To the ground. All right. I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Search Ready Kids at nyc.gov or call 311. So, I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Hi, we're back here at On Track. I'm your host, James, and we've got Dave and Rich here. Now, next question I'd like to ask you, being that we've just heard one of your songs, what type of, what genre do you consider your music, personally? Well, I'd say it's, it's Americana. It's kind of a blend of Americana and blues. You know, it's a mixed bag, but, because uh, we kind of go in various directions. But I'd say that the first song you heard is a lot more folky. Okay, yeah. Now, did... Were you always that style, or have you developed into that style? Well, I mean, growing up, I listened to a lot of folk music. So, mm -hmm. you know, Steve Goodman, John Prine were big influences on Richie, too. Uh, and so, in fact, the first time I performed professionally was at the Earl of Old Town in Chicago. So I was about okay. 16 years old. Um, I don't know how we talked our way in, but we did. So we got up on stage and played. But... Um, so I've always been a big fan of them. And then, you know, some crossover stuff, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, uh, and Young, you know, moved into more of an electric thing. I, when I was, you know, like nine years old, I saw Woodstock, the movie, and that was a phenomenal influence because you had everything. You had a mixed bag, rock and roll folk, Richie Higgins, yeah. you know, to The Who. And um, so that's kind of, that's what got me really, uh, you know, enjoying and really getting a kick out of music in the, in, the, in the realm of music, all the different styles. That's pretty awesome. So where have you, uh, you two as a pair, where have you performed live? And where do you still perform live? Well, we've had uh, the great honor of playing uh, many different places all over Chicago and of course all over House the Fox of Blues. Side. House of Blues, we had a great, great run venue. there. Yeah. We've played uh, places like Bandito Barney's in Dundee and uh -huh. Tom, God bless his soul. Uh, he's passed away now. He was very good to us and we had a lot of good times. The Hilton, still, still, Hilton Grand Ballroom. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we've played some big ballrooms. Big ballrooms. As well as, yeah. you know, little uh, dive bars as well. Which have always been fun. And, yeah. and the Roundhouse, we still play in Aurora. And yeah. that's still one of our favorite places. Yeah, sorry to talk about We're at there yeah. June 11th. Yeah. So Saturday, okay. June 11th. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, we've had we've had the great pleasure of playing in every the kind of... The empty can band, man. 
Right, with the empty can band. We've played every kind of roadhouse and, and, and bar all the way back to Vi's Last Call in St. Charles. Yeah, those little dive bars. Our, our drummer the Paul The drums was, had to go on the pool table. Paul was up on a pool table, literally, because that, awesome. was, that was the only room they had for him. <laughs> that's, so, yeah. that's awesome. All right, well, we've got three more songs coming up here. We've got All I Got, Just the Start, and Across the River. Just the start. I've been driving, driving down a wild road. I've been trying, trying just to get a hold. I've been lying, lying that I'm in control. I've been crying, wondering where I left my soul. Scared I'm dying, yeah. This crazy life is taking its toll. been smiling, showing me the light in your eyes. You've been willing, willing to give me a try. You've opened up your heart and you taken me into your life. Been running, running from a past both good and bad. You've been loving, loving me with all 
Take me by the Never notice my own sight Sometimes feeling like a sinner Tell myself so many lies Always running from the battle No spoils of war remain Hiding truth behind my drinking but it never kills the pain I love so many people But I don't remember names I'm Just going through the motion Saying here I go again I Ain't got no I ain't got nothing to give. I ain't got nothing to give. Still you're here. Still you're here with me. Yeah. Still you're here with me. Yeah.
There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hey, look, it's those guys. What's good? What's up? What's happening today? Let's see those pearly whites, man. Yeah! Check it Ooh, cute. Uh, Are you good to try? I'm fine. Hey, hey, girl, hey, girl, what's up? What's your name? What's good? What's up? How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Sir, go and step out of the vehicle for me. Yes, sir. See ya, buddy. Today, Sean's got a hearing. We'll see how it goes. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terra cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. Hi, and welcome back to On Track. I'm your host, James, and we've still got Dave and Rich right here with us. Now, I'd like to ask you, what's your songwriting process like? What, um, what particularly motivates you to write a song, and what influences what goes into it? Well, a lot of times it's, um, it might be just a melody, a lick, like um, that, that just the start song. I, I just got going on that. And then I just wrote a song around that. So, um, sometimes it just might be a lyric that I have, you know, some right. life experience that influences me. Uh, yes, you, you Do is one of the songs that we're doing today. Uh, that was, um, you know, that, that had kind of a gospel feel to it. It was, uh, it was really a song. You know, I'm not, I'm not a big Christian uh, guy, but I believe in God and I'm a spiritual guy. And um, so that, you know, that kind of floated out as a gospel song. And then that other one, Calling Me Down, is kind of a spiritual experience song, too. Right. So there's a couple spiritual themes to the, some of the things I do. Yeah. But sometimes it's just fun, rock and roll, and good time. Now, do you, do you collaborate really closely on the songwriting? Or do you start writing the song specifically, and you, Rich, start adding in sort of your own harmonica stuff? Or? Dave writes the songs, and I just play along. Awesome. It yeah, I bring fantastic. it to the band and, and then make it real easy on myself. And the other guys will figure out what they're going to play it's on it. Some of the best harmonica playing I've ever heard. Oh, so I brought them along today. God bless them. Thank you very much. You're, you're very kind. You're very kind. All righty. Now, where can we get um, samples of your music or recordings? Sure. Um, the Empty Can Band has a couple CDs out. Uh, one's called um, Still Alive, and the other one's called Beautiful Man. Uh, Beautiful man, and then we. Um, I'm also on SoundCloud, uh, SoundCloud slash Dave Glenn, All right. and then we have the EmptyCanBand.com site. So there's a lot of places you can listen to the tunes and pick it up. And All this right. will be on YouTube, I think, too. So yeah, cool. All right. So the last song we're going to listen to is Yes You Do. That's going to be all for us tonight. Thank you for being on the show, Dave Thanks and Rich. For having us. We Thank really you very much for it. having us. It's a pleasure. I was your host, James Claire Roden. We'll be back next week. Have a nice night.
I can Gonna try my best To be your man If you should fall to Would you lend me your hand Help me stand Help me stand I can always put my faith in you Yes I can Oh yes I can You're the one that helps me see it through Yes you do Oh yes you do When the darkness comes to seal my faith Hope I'm standing at the gate. Now you know I ain't never been no saint, but I pray that I'll make it. I just have to wait. I can always put my trust in you. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. You're the one that helps me see it through Oh, yes, you do Oh, yes, you do Right, Richard? Now this journey is gonna end someday But I'll take what I can Along the way So many lessons Learn the right way For to take the right turn Oh, I hope and I pray Lord, you just keep calling me home Oh, yes, you do Oh, yes, you do You're the one who helps me 